right, guys, I just got home from work. This thing started making a growling noise in the morning. I think it's a bad wheel bearing. I have it jacked up. I'm thinking it's definitely a bad wheel bearing. This is a 2015 Chevy Silverado. I'm in a little bit of a hurry. Like I said, I'm, it's after work, and I want to be sure what it is so I can get the parts on order. They're kind of expensive. I call the AutoZone. They don't have them in stock. It's like 199 bucks. Advanced Auto was like 225. They had it in stock, and I get it on Rock Auto for about 169. So I'm thinking I'm gonna borrow my girlfriend's car, one of her cars, her second car, and use that and order off Rock Auto. But I want to get this as far as I can tonight, so when I get the part, I can just put it back together. my own car but anyway this fall on the jeep build knows that my jeep's in the garage right now ready for paint that's why this isn't in the garage because the garage is full yep definitely a wheel bearing First thing we're going to do is pull the caliper off, probably the caliper bracket. Might pull them all in one shot, be done with it. Because we'll have to get the rotor off too. Holy shit! Well, it's a new day. After work again, it's Wednesday. Rock Auto did pretty good. <clears throat> I ordered that part on Monday night after I left here, and it's now Wednesday, and I have the part. Apparently, I lost audio at some point in uh, the last video, but this is the old bearing. It don't sound good at all. It has a lot of play in it. Gonna get the new one in. We're prone to a lot of rust on vehicles up here, so I'm gonna clean all this up real good. It never sees everything before I put it back together. And that's just kind of common practice up here. It makes it much easier to get stuff apart later. Yeah, like I said, I'm gonna put a coat of never sees on everything in here. Oh, the 
axle splines. I'll do the axle nut. The bolts that hold the unit bearing in. <coughs> Forgot the dust shield. Try and bring in for a closer look. You're looking at one, two, there's a third bolt on the other side, 15 millimeter, that hold the unit bearing in. These I usually just make pretty damn tight. Not bloody tight, or hellaciously tight. But pretty damn tight. I'm sure there's a torque spec on it. That goes there. Before I plug in this uh, ABS sensor tone ring, I want to put a dollop of dielectric grease on it. Just a little ounce of preventative maintenance. Hopefully it won't corrode up and I have problems with it later. There's a little red tab there. Make sure you push that back in and lock it. for two different vehicles retainer threads or in different distances at different distances I have no idea why I put that in I guess it's still my new truck bought this truck new in 2015 that's 65,000 miles on it I'm a little disappointed the wheel bearing went on it already but other than that it's been pretty problem free I put brakes on it the factory rotors warped pretty quick so I put Bendex fleet brakes on it and rotors. They've been holding up well. I was around 20,000 miles. Second set of tires. Uh, other than that, oil changes. There's a heater hose that's starting to seep. I want to get that fixed. I'm taking this to Colorado in a couple of months. I learned this on YouTube. I don't remember whose channel. When you're in a hurry. I just want to collapse it a little bit. Ooh, you smack yourself in the face. Don't listen to anybody on YouTube. All right. These get bloody tight. These are a little more than pretty tight. They're a bigger bolt. They're bloody tight. Last thing is the axle nut. Earlier when I lost audio, I said this was 35 millimeter. It's probably not really. I have to put it on with a hammer, but it's all I have that fits. I don't know. Give me a second. I might have the correct socket. Okay, I lied. I do not have the correct socket. At least not easily found, and I'm not going to spend all night looking for it. So the correct size is 35 millimeter, and you put it on with a hammer. I did put some anti-seize on this axle shaft thread before I, I'm putting this nut on right now. Do 
this the torque spec on? I don't know. Maybe we're going to go with about four or five Ugga Dugs. Or about that tight. Like that 35 millimeter also has to get taken off with a hammer. Hmm. Maybe I have a new center cap. There we go. Outward pressure with the pry bar, hammer on the top. A little bit anti seasoned lug nuts, and we'll put the wheel back on this thing. Okay, now look at me with the fancy things. I'm not going to use the Ugga Dug method on this. I'm going to use a torque stick. These things are great. Let's put it on and hammer until she don't, stops turning. This one's 140 foot pounds. Alright, this was not meant to be the uh, end-all be-all instructional video on how to do this. It's just something that happened to me and it had to be done. Thought I'd make a quick video. Uh, it's not a bad job. I have about a half hour to take it apart, about a half hour into putting it back together, a little less than a half hour putting it back together. See you later. If you like this video, like, share, subscribe.